Okay, so I'm going to pick some stickers to put on the back of my switch. Um, I'm putting them on the back of it and then I'm putting this clear case over it so that it protects them. And I'm choosing from my handmade stickers that I made for my shop. Um, so I'm just going to pick a couple that look nice and put them on there. Real quick though, for those who watched my last video, you saw I got a screen protector and it's one of those glass ones and it's dirty at the moment, but I highly recommend it. It's nice and thick and it was easy to put on and it's just very sturdy and I can, you can feel how nice um, and protective it is. So I really like that and I recommend it for anyone looking to get a screen protector. So yeah, I want something that looks nice with the colors. Um, I know Flitwick would, but Flitwick isn't really one that I, well, it look real cute. But I kind of want to use some that like, I actively use the Pokemon. And that's too tall, which sucks because I love Sableye so much. Um, nervous my favorites won't look good because like, I love Woobat. Well, it doesn't look bad. It's just not like complimentary as much as it could be. All my favorites are, whoops. I don't know. I, I wish they were like, all my favorites are like tall and skinny and I really, it would be nicer to have like wide ones to fill this space. Um, let's see. Oh, that fits perfectly. And that would look really nice, but these are attached. I have to separate them. Um, but I would need one on the other side to balance it out. Um, unfortunately, he's like my fattest, so like none of the others are gonna fit as well. And ooh, the oranges and yellows look real cute against this like teal color. It's just like the blue that is a little clashy because it's in the same family of color, but the opposite side of the spectrum. Like it's the cold yellowless blue, and this is like the warmer type of blue. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to make it a non-Pokemon though, because I don't know if it'll be weird having just one Pokemon and then like a Sailor Moon villain. X villain, I guess. No, I don't like that. Um, I always put ugh, Dobby too big. No, Dobby's too big. I could have put Dobby and Shinzo, and that would have looked so cute. I mean, not really color wise, but just because I love them. Dobby and Shinzo would have been real cute. They're just like. I mean, technically they fit, but they look crowded. I could always put something there, maybe, and it would look less weird. But... Um, see, but then I would have to, like, the only thing that would fit there would be a non-My Hero, and then it would look kind of strange having, like, My Hero, Pokemon My Hero. Um... And I would want it to like fully cover the Switch logo. Because it will just drive my like... I have sort of like an obsessed personality. Like I don't know if it's OCD or if it's anxiety or what. But having the words poke out from under the sticker like would drive me insane. Like I literally wouldn't focus on anything else. So it can't be something that like shows... Shows that. Oh, my friend Squirrel's here. So this guy is a cutie and I have trees right outside my window, like in front of my desk. And he or she would just like chill there with like one leg hanging over the branch, like super lazy style, just like watching me work. And it's so cute and I love them. But anyways, 
I'm tempted to like, sorry, now it's, there we go. I'm tempted to put these on and then like once they're on, so they're nice and flat, try to get something that fits there. I'm just nervous that this is gonna, no, I don't think it's gonna be in the way. It just might be on a slight curve on up here. I don't know. Ah, this is more difficult than I thought it would be because now I really want my boys, but they're just slightly too big to like, you know, look as nice as I would like it to. Like they, you know, they clearly look like they don't fit great. Um, and that's, that bothers me. Damn it, Pumpkaboo, be a little fatter. Just a little fatter. Ooh, yay. I mean, that would fit, but again, it's my hero, Pokemon my hero. Um, but I don't really have another option. Cause the only other option is like my hero, uh, Steven Universe gem, my hero, cause you know, that's all I have stickers of, other than my one Radish Spirit from Sp Spirited Away, which would be the same thing. Um, or Lion from Steven Universe. I'm trying to decide which colors would be better. I mean, this color scheme might be better with them because there's like pink in the lines in his like reddish skin. Oops, sorry. All right, I'm gonna see if these fit and then I will show you guys the aftermath. If so, and I'll put the case on. So I will be right back. All right, it is on. There is some dirt. I cleaned like the switch of any dirt so nothing would get stuck. But there was some on the case and I didn't think to like clean the inside of this clear case uh, because I just took it out of the packaging. I didn't think there'd be anything. So that's gonna annoy me until I can get it off. But here's the result. Um, what's nice about these stickers is that they don't leave residue and like once, if you lay them down, you can peel them up easily and move them. So I was able to readjust these guys. Like even after I stuck them on, I was able to unpeel them and move them and there's no problem. The only problem is this guy has to be up here, like Dobby has to be up on the stick. So he's sticking out of the clear case and I scratched him on accident while doing that. So that's gonna bother me. But other than that, like, this is it. I don't hate it. I wish I had had a little more room where I could slightly tilt these guys so it's less just like rows of stickers and more like looks like they're aiming around the center. Um, just like a slight tilt would have been nice. Uh, but yeah, let me see if this will focus. That's, that's what my case currently looks like. And since they come off so easily, it can easily change, you know. I could rotate them if I wanted, but uh, it was difficult getting the clear case on, and I don't want to deal with it again. So this is my case for now. Say hello to my babies. And ignore how bad that one looks. I rescued them from... They were all dying. Well, this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, so all but this one were dying at Walmart um, a few months ago, and this one's still not doing great. I just replanted it in a bigger thing, and it probably needs an even bigger one, but yeah, here's my big boy, my aloe. And this one has a little a little sprout now. I don't know if anyone knows anything about succulents. Am I supposed to trim that off? Like it's cute and it has flowers at the end, which is really pretty, but I don't know if it's like, you know, just shows that it's nice and healthy and I should leave it, or if you're supposed to like trim those off, but it's cute and that popped up recently. This is my recent addition, like my newest one, and I just re replanted this. It was an even smaller one from Walmart. And this one's super gotten like much wider. It's gotten a lot, many more leaves since I planted it, but they stay in here in my office because that's where the most light is. I also have a par parlor palm 
in my bedroom because they're good in low lighting and there's not a lot of light in my bedroom but it helps my like mental health to see fresh plants so yeah I love my babies and I will probably have more eventually that just like cover this whole let me zoom out this whole window bench you know because I have an addictive personality and plants are friendly and cute Say hi, McCree. I'm a noodle. Noodle boy. Jack. Hello. I figured we would have chat time again. And I would show you my kitties. Look at that snaggle. Look at my handsome man. <laughs> Jack. Are you snaggled? Yeah. Moira, little princess, come here. This is Moira. She's got no tail. Haha, -ha. see? She's got a nubbin. Uh, her and Reaper, which is this chonky girl, we have four cats. This chonk are sisters, and they're both half Manx, which is an exotic breed with a bobtail, but Reaper didn't get the bobtail. Sorry, my living room's like trashed behind me. Um, those are my cats though. Uh, so yeah, I figured I would wrap up this video with like a chat again, like the last one. Um, there's not too much to update. I decided my next project for my shop, like my next shop related like sticker set when I open my shop. I figured out what it's going to be, and it's because I've started practicing my Japanese again. I'm still a beginner and everything, but, um, and some of the new vocab right now is like food. And even though I sort of, I, I know the words for the food and everything, but I want to, I need to get better at katakana. My hiragana is fine. My katakana is not so much. And like a lot of the food uses katakana and stuff like that. The alphabet, alphabet. Um, I don't know if that's what you, I don't know if you, yeah, I mean, I guess it's an alphabet. But anyways, that form of writing, I need to improve. Um, so my next thing I'm going to do for my shop, it's more for me, but I'm going to put it in my shop if anyone else wants it, is going to be like a sticker set of food that I draw, and it's going to have the Japanese word for the food with, with it. And it's mostly just for me to remember them, because I have a terrible memory, but I thought maybe someone else would like it also as a sticker set so that'll be in my shop when i make them and then open my shop again <laughs> um i also really want to make a sticker okay so i use memorize the japanese like well it's not japanese the language learning app and i use it for japanese and one of the things i recently learned was just this like how to say like awesome or it's awesome, or that's awesome, or whatever. And I'm gonna be doing a sticker because, like, it's Psycho Des is like awesome, or it's awesome, that whatever. It's basically, awesome is. But um, it amused me that Psycho is awesome because obviously it sounds like the word, American word Psycho. Uh, and I was making a joke about that to a friend, and my friend said that I should make a shirt that says, like, this is what Psycho looks like. And obviously it's a psycho, like the Japanese word psycho, but it would be a play on words just because, you know, psycho sounds like I'm saying I'm crazy, but it's actually saying this is what awesome looks like. Um, but I don't make shirts, obviously, uh, so I, I want to make a sticker of that, though. So plan on doing that also. And if it turns out okay, I'll put that in my shop. But yeah, I just need to find the motivation for those. I have cat hair on my on my mouth now. Jack. Jack's been rubbing against me this whole time. Um, only other update is if you watched my last video, I talked about wanting like another pet, like a companion animal, like not another cat because they sleep all day, <laughs> but a more interactive animal. And I had been torn on like if I wanted a bird or maybe a ferret and stuff. And after doing a lot more thinking, I think I've, I'm leaning towards ferret now. But I obviously can't get one right now because of the pandemic. So, 
ferret, though, in the future. Oh, and I already decided what I'm going to name it. I want to name it Peko Peko. Um, because, like, to say I'm starving in Japanese, again, if you know Japanese and this isn't correct, tell me. This is just what I'm being taught from the app I use and everything. But, uh, it's Onaka Peko Peko. And I just think it sounds so cute, and especially because the Peko Peko was written in Katakana, even though Onaka was written in Hiragana, Onaka Stomach. Um, so it's like stomach hungry, but uh, the Peko Peko looks so cute, especially in Katakana. And ferrets, you know, they chew on things a lot. They like to eat things, they like to bite things, and they just like to chew on things. Um, so I thought it'd be really cute to name it Peko Peko. And I'm real excited, like, <laughs> having the name picked out has me, like, even more excited for the animal. Like, that sounds stupid. Obviously, I'm really excited just, like, for the animal. But, like, I am, like, I grin every time I think about calling it Peko Peko. So I'm real excited about that. And when I get the ferret, which is going to be a while because the, you know, everything going on right now. But when I get the ferret... I definitely am probably going to make cute little stickers of it. They're going to say Peko Peko. And it's going to be adorable. And I can't wait. I'm actually really annoyed about the current situation. Obviously, people are dying. That sucks. Like, uh, that's the main problem. But I mean, that aside, I'm extra annoyed because, like, all, everything going on hasn't changed my day to day. Because, like, I never leave. <laughs> but... So this is like the first thing, like other than not being able to get art supplies, this so I guess this is like the second thing that it's actually like affected for me. Um, and that's just that, you know, other than the problem with groceries and stuff. But so I guess I should say the less, mm, one of the minor things effects that has had on me is that like I've had to put this on hold. I've had to put off getting Peko Peko and uh, it's frustrating, but. I'm excited to get him. I'm g I want a girl. I mean a boy. I want a boy. In my experiences, the males have always been bigger. Like, I had three ferrets before, like years ago. My, my boys were much bigger than the girls, and I had two boys and a girl. And I worked at a pet store, and the boys were always bigger than the girls. So I'm sure, I mean, obviously, like, there can be exceptions. But I want a big chonk named Peko Peko. And I'm real excited about that. And I can't wait for that to happen, and he'll be my little sidekick for my videos and in my art. So, yeah. That's it. That's all for this video. Sorry it took a while to make. I don't do a lot, so I didn't have a lot to record. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, no, wait, don't. Don't change the video yet. Okay, if you're someone who draws or has OCs, or anything like that, I saw someone else on YouTube, and I don't remember who it was, do a video where they're like, let me redesign your characters, like your OCs. I just recently saw it. If you know who it is, feel free to like comment it, because I'm stealing the idea. If you tag me on Instagram in a photo of like one of your OCs, my Instagram's little lemon curd. If you tag me, there will be a chance I will redesign your OC for you, which means, you know, I'll draw them, but maybe, like, change change them a bit. Um, obviously, since I'm saying that, that means that's the point. So please don't get offended if I change your character. Don't do it and then just be like, why do you change my character? My character's perfect. Like, calm down. That's literally the point. So only tag me if you want me to redesign it. But don't get butthurt if I don't super change it either, because that just means I really liked it. But, um... I won't be really fast about it, and I'll only do one or two at most, <laughs> because I'm actually sick right now. I have a really bad stomach bug, so does Kristen. Um, but when I have the energy, I would like to do it. So feel free to tag me, your art, and there will be a chance I'll redraw your character when I'm feeling a little better. Now that's all, and I will talk to you guys next time.